All right, this op art is often called the helicopter. And so for this one, you are gonna find a point um, in the middle of your paper. So I'm just gonna put a little dot. And then you're gonna need a ruler. Now, I want to start in the middle. I'm gonna draw lightly. I'm gonna make kind of like triangles or pizza slices all the way around but they're all gonna meet in the middle now they don't have to be the same size you can make some bigger some skinnier okay this one I'm gonna make bigger I'm just gonna keep going around this point. Draw again, draw lightly. This is still too big, so I'm gonna split that one in half. Again, coming to my middle point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. The next step, you should have an even number, and I had 10. Um, if I didn't, I would add another one in. But the next step is to make those arches. So I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to arch my line. I'm going to curve it all the way. And this curve is what's going to help create an optical illusion. And then let's, okay. Now on the ones next to it, I'm going to curve the other way. I'm going to attach here and I'm going to curve under, 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 under. So that goes the opposite way. And then I'm going to go to my next one and it's going to curve up. So it's going to switch back and forth all the way around. Now I'm connecting at these points. You can choose to do that or not. Let me make one more here. This one's gonna curve under. And you want it to go back and forth like this. Um, what I started to do is outline with Sharpie, and to do that, I'm going to use my ruler for these straight lines. Um, you can freehand it, but the ruler is just going to help keep those lines straight and precise, and that matters in op art. So I'm going to finish that, and I'm going to outline these, and then I'll tell you what's next. final step with this one is to take your eraser and slowly erase all of your pencil marks. Start in one, like one side and work your way around it, okay? You can see the next video to learn how to color and shade to make this an optical illusion.